Catherine Pill, Curator of Contemporary Art at the Museum of Fine Arts, and I'm here with Gio Swaby. Welcome, Gio. Thank you. <laughs> so Gio's sitting down with us for a few questions. And I wanted to start off with, um, you've deemed the work Love Letters to Black Women. Could you tell us a bit more about that? Yes, so for me, I think I found this practice through wanting to explore uh, new ways to unlock love and experience it in my life and also to be able to share that with others. Um, the idea of the love letter was a practice I started in the way that it sounds as an actual letter. Uh, writing, because for me it was a little bit easier than expressing vocally at first. Um, I could also write to people who were no longer here. Um, and I wanted to be able to encapsulate that into a visual practice. So that's what I've been doing with this work, trying to be able to, to indicate and to describe and to share this love that I have for um, the women in my life and to be able to dedicate these works to them. And can you tell us a bit about some of the subjects? Yes, yes. Um, so the most recent love letter pieces I did was a series of my sisters. Um, that was an incredible undertaking for me. It was an honor to be able to represent them. And a lot of them, a lot of the other people are some of my friends. Most of the people I represent are people I know very personally. Um, and so that practice starts with a conversation, an interview process, and a photography session with the person. So I would say, you know, this work for me is so much about this part of connecting and um, so much about that initial process of being able to share and to like generate this reciprocity between myself and the people I'm representing. And we're actually sitting in front of portraits of some of your sisters. Yes, the through the sisters wall, it's like, I, I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> and when did you start uh, sewing? I started sewing like, I, I can't even remember the earliest time. I learned from my mom when I was really young. We started off like, uh, she was a seamstress, so we started off sewing like clothes for my dolls, um, church outfits. She always wanted to make outfits for us that matched. Um, probably well into a part of my life that I shouldn't have been matching <laughs> with my mom. But um, so that's, I, I learned to sew early on from her. And I think it's always been a part of my life in that way. But I came back to it um, in later on into my adulthood to, f to find it as an art form and to bring it into my art practice. Now, we should also mention that you've contributed personal introductions to each of the series that, that are in the exhibition. Um, you talk a bit about your early style and your introduction to going up close. <laughs> um, <laughs> but have you really always worked in series? Because it's very clear that you do with the seven that are presented here in the show. I, I always have, as long as I've been making textiles, which is, you know, I did my first one, I think, in 20... 11 or 12, I think 2012 was the first uh, foray into like textile portraiture. And I have always worked in series. It just makes sense to me. Um, I like to feel like when I'm in my studio, it kind of feels like, uh, like actually visiting with that person. And then that feeling is intensified when you have many of, this, of those portraits happening at the same time. So generally that's how I work on, you know, two, three, or even up to five at a time in my studio, um, working through different parts of the process on each one until they all like kind of come to a finish point at the same time. And you'll see throughout the exhibition, you know, certain progressions with various series. We go from unstretched works to stretched ones. Um, we have another side to me, second chapter. And so I think it's really nice to see uh, the progression of your work in such a short period of time. One of your clearly stated goals is to create nuanced representations of black women. Um, how does your work do that for different audiences? I think that's where the most important part of connecting comes in. 
I think you get a sense when you look at this work that um, I am really familiar with the people that I'm representing. And that's because we have, we do have personal relationships, but it also comes from this intentional part of the photography and the conversation process. And even the, invita even the invitation to participate in this work with me. Um, and I, I think that's, that's where it starts. I want to create portraits that are really full of the essence of that person and um, who they are. And to be able to do that with, uh, be able to do that in a way that's delicate, that holds so much respect and reverence, and um, and love for the person being represented, and that's where I approach it. When I'm making my work, I think about who I want to see this work. I think about who I consider to be the primary audience of this work, which is Black people, and you know, even more specifically, Black women and girls. Um, and that's where like the driving force of my practice I think comes from and how I know I'm moving in the right direction with the work that I'm making. And you've spoken about the responsibility of representing these women. Um, it's a big responsibility for the Museum of Fine Arts to host a show like this and we thank you for trusting us. Um, can you tell us a bit about um, what you want audiences to, to take away from this, this exhibition? I think I want, um, when I'm thinking of just the general audience, I think I want people just to come in and perhaps to connect with this work in a way that um, maybe they haven't with other artworks before. Maybe um, they are able to experience a special moment with this work that they will remember. Perhaps if I'm thinking of younger people coming to see it, maybe this could be like an inspiration for them to be, uh, to pursue something creative, to pursue a creative practice. And when I think very specifically about uh, black women and girls seeing this work, it's definitely about those moments of reflection, being able to see themselves represented in this way, you know, that's just, uh, so much of it is rooted in this practice of love, expressing love, to see themselves represented with reverence and care, and um, to have that multiplied in a room like this when you can see many reflections is one of the most important parts, I think, of this exhibition and of my practice. Well, we're we couldn't be more excited for Fresh Up. Thank you. Thank you, Gio. <laughs> Thank you. I'm super excited too. I'm really happy to be here. <laughs>